welcome back to the adventures in Lewis and I'm back at Anne of Cleves house the lovely Anne of Cleves house which we've done paranormal investigation from before and a little connection to a friend of mine with her ancestors we were last year in 2018 doing a paranormal investigation with the pigs team it's lovely this is our crew room if I remember rightly and the fantastic look at that open fire look at that is one of those wonderful 15th century Wilton Hall houses. And the house was given to Anne of Cleves as part of the default settlement from Henry VIII, although there's no evidence she ever stayed here. That's a modern title, by the way. It was originally called the Porched House in and changed in 1910 to Anne of Cleves House. This is the bedroom. We did quite a few vigils up here. You know me, I don't think anywhere's haunted, I think it's everywhere. <laughs> but I'm probably boring people with me saying that now. But look at those original beams, fantastic. And I always remember Alan, when we came here on a recce, before our first investigation back in 2010, we came here about three days before, and Alan, our raw psychic, who's unfortunately no longer with us, picked up a very strong signal of a woman just at the top of the stairs here. old bed. This bed is known as the taster bed after the roof-like canopy that covers it. And craftsmanship. Lovely Wilden Hall House. I love saying Wilden Hall House like I like saying Anglo-Saxon. So connection unless you haven't seen the uh, spiral paranormal episodes we've done from here. My friend Mandy, when we used to have the old spiral paranormal team, still see her, my friend Mandy, her stepdad is Andrew Verrill. And he is a descendant, we only found this out about a week before we came here and did the original 2010 investigation. And Andrew Verrill is a descendant of the Verrill family, which owned a lot of uh, Lewis, for 150 years and in South Over Street here. They owned here, Anne of Cleves House, the manor across the road, and he's a direct descendant, which we didn't know until, say, about a week before we came here. And we kept that hidden from uh, Alan, our raw psychic, or the man to the psychic in our own right as well. got a double ticket that allows me to get into uh, Lewis Castle as well which would be great and lovely we're so lucky in this country to have preservation bodies like English Heritage National Trust this one's owned by Sussex Past you probably don't have the funds that English Heritage National Trust have and they own the, 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 um, the castle and a few other properties Mitchell and Priory the Marlins Museum, I think it's called, or Marlins Museum. A lot of traffic though in this in this um, road. Though. That's the only problem with it. Alarm bell from Southover Manor, dated 1774. These are great. These are great for kids if you want to dress up. Say, great for kids. You've seen our lot actually also dressing up in them, and they're adults. So I'm going to go to the historic kitchen. A 
outdoor alert. Outdoor alert. Lovely. And this stone granite table here, as you can see, the legend goes after the knights who uh, killed Thomas of Becket um, on that fateful day, they came here, threw their cloaks on this stone table and the stone table shuddered and cracked in um, retaliation to the evil, to the evil that they did. I think that's just legend, but interesting tale. chair here look <laughs> great So there you go, a little trip around Anne of Cleves house. Fantastic to be back again. It's a shame actually, the foundry is out of bounds at the moment. And I got some interesting uh, dowsing results there when we were doing a paranormal investigation here in 2018. I'm just gonna slip that data in here now. If that is you, Spirit, can you please make it spin round faster? Tim, yeah. you might wanna see this. Get a lot of activity on this. Okay. It's been going around. We won't ask. Is that you can make it spin, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Can you make it spin the other way, please? Sorry to ask you. Can you make it spin the other way? Thank you so much. Are you all getting this? There you go. They were spinning around like all sorts, um, which is quite rare. Um, but yeah, so that's not uh, open, and nor's the Lewis room. I think it's the Lewis room, which is the top room, which is a really nice exhibition. So that's not open. So two plated parts aren't open, but it's still plenty to see. Don't get me wrong, plenty to see. But uh, from this little part of our Lewis tour, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>